Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam for EffectsDeed79.com. Got another After Effects tutorial for you. Thanks for uh, checking this video out. Uh, today we're going to go over the basics of motion tracking. Uh, motion tracking is kind of difficult to explain, but it's basically the process of um, recording an object's motion uh, in a video and applying that motion to another object to make it seem like it's in the shot. Now that may or may not make sense to you, uh, but basically I'm going to show you with uh, this test footage that I recorded. Um, basically it's just a picture frame and as you can see it's not that great quality but I recorded it from a few different sides. Uh, my camera broke and uh, I haven't been able to get a new one so I've just been using flips. I haven't been, done, been doing that much uh, video recording lately, it's just been mostly editing so it hasn't really been a problem for me but you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to need the tracker controls. These may not be here for you, they're probably not. Um, but basically, just select the video, go to uh, Window, and then Tracker. And that'll bring up the tracker controls. Uh, what you're going to need to do is make sure the uh, right layer is selected and hit Track Motion. And that's going to give us one point to track, but we want to select uh, the entire frame. So we're going to select uh, Track Type uh, Perspective Corner Pin. And what we're going to do is set each of these on the edges of the frame. Now as you can see they're not that great. I wasn't going to set them on the inside but it's hard to distinguish uh, that from the others because of the low quality but this produces a little bit of a shadow so it's easier for the program to distinguish what's what pixel it's looking for. Um, here it works a little bit better uh, on the inside so we're just going to go ahead and do that and the same over here right about there and uh, these tracking areas and uh, search areas should work pretty well um, if you hold down the spacebar by the way and uh, uh, kind of scroll around you can or press the mouse button and hold it you can scroll around the frame so that's kind of a cool trick for you guys um, and this is on the first frame so we're going to go ahead and hit uh, analyze forwards and what the program is going to do is going to attempt to find those pixels uh, the same pixels in the next frame um, this is a pretty, oh, there we go. See, this kind of stuff happens because it's going to assume that this is the pixel it's looking for because it can't find the other one. So we're just going to find the frame where it first got off track. And I think that's somewhere, oh, it's reanalyzing the, uh, the frames. So we'll just go back over here. It's on track here. Oops, didn't mean to move the keyframe. But we'll just drag the keyframe right back on track. And then we'll just hit analyze forward one frame. Just make sure it's correctly tracked there. I think it got off. Yeah, about there with the camera shake. Um, and for here, we'll just put it back right around there. Analyze another one forward. And yeah, there we go. It's having problems finding the edge of the frame. I think it's about right there, is it? Yeah, it's right about there. It doesn't have to be exact, but it should be you know fairly good. So. That should help it find it again. Sometimes you need to help it out a little bit, especially with lower quality cameras. If you can avoid shaking or uh, possibly a higher quality camera, that will help you out a lot in terms of not having to help it out so much in its tracking, but it's doing, per it's doing all right. So we'll just let it track a few frames and scroll out to make sure none of the other one. Oh, that track has gotten off. Completely forgot to scroll out and look at that. So it's off track about right there. Scroll over and just place it where it should be. Track forward. And it looks like it's right back on track. So sometimes just doing little things like that uh, while you're working will help you. So I'm just going to go ahead now that you guys know how to do that. By the way, if you have a shot where the uh, the edge gets out, and I'm going to have to fix that one too, um, the edge gets out of the shot, you're just going to basically have to drag this where you think it's going to be, and that will uh, let it know where, you, where it should be, even though it's not in the shot. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end where I'm done with all the tracking. All right, so now it looks like we've gotten an all right track. Uh, sometimes the points get off in a few bits, but it's basically uh, stuck to that. I shortened the clip to three seconds just to show you guys. Uh, it's just a uh, demonstration, so it doesn't have to be a really long clip. But now what we're going to do is create, we're going to create a null object, uh, which I've taught you about in another video, and we're going to hit Edit Target, 
and make sure it's applying to null 1. Um, it should, uh, when we apply it, it's going to apply the tracking data to that null object. So you can see that null object is basically stuck to the picture frame. Uh, because of some of the tracking data, it moves at some points. Um, but that can be quite easily fixed um, just by spending a little bit more time on it. I'm just going to create a new composition real quick and put some text in it. Oops. And let's have it like that. And maybe we'll create like a gradient or something. Oop, I meant ramp. Just to just so you can see it, <clears throat> and then we'll bring that into this composition, and we're going to parent it to the null object. We're also going to change the scale down, and if we put it where inside the picture frame, even though the picture frame is slightly um, tilted, you will see that. Hello World sticks to the picture frame. Um, not too greatly, but it does. And we can uh, fix the rotation to it too, so that if we hit W on the keyboard to rotate, or rotate, um, and we can kind of align it with the edges and get a better fit. Let's see, that should be enough. Oops. It's a little bit difficult to get a match when uh, the picture frame is sideways. But this can be used for a ton of different things. Um, let's say we had um, something in this shot that uh, we wanted to place on the floor. If we made this 3D, and let's rotate it on its axis a little bit. I think it's. No. Um, Oh, I'm rotating the null object. Oops. Undo that. Um, make this a 3D object. And we rotate it a little bit. Or not. That's fine. Yeah, like that. So it's kind of 3D ish. I don't know. And then we scroll down. It'll look like it's sitting on the floor. Um, and obviously, we tracked it with the picture frame. So that only works with the first few seconds when the picture frame is uh, actually like on the floor and the camera isn't rising up like it isn't. So those are the basics of uh, motion tracking. Basically, as you can see, it's applying a motion of one thing to the motion of another. And we could do all kinds of stuff with this if we got it actually matched up with that picture frame using uh, skewing some of those uh, sides. Uh, we could definitely get a, a nice, precise look and everything. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.